Well, Canadians continue to encounter soaring prices of most goods. Joining us now with more on this is Lori Campbell, Director of Client Financial Wellness at Bromwich and Smith. Good morning, Lori. Thanks so much for making time. Good morning. I want to start with asking you what shrinkflation really is and which products we're seeing this in most. Well, shrinkflation is where you're paying generally the same prices, sometimes more for a product, but the, the, the rule of what's happening is the package is shrinking. And you can really see this in some products, obvious products where it's bag packaged, such as a bag of chips and those types of things, but it can be anything. Mm -hmm. And we're certainly seeing that as a way for uh, manufacturers to uh, pretend that prices aren't going up when in fact they are going up because the cost of the product that you're paying for is is not in line with the amount that you're getting. Mm, okay, yeah, that makes sense. So consumers can definitely pay attention to packaging. Uh, you say that if the packaging has changed, that's kind of a short tail sign that perhaps things are being downsized. But what about greedflation? That's a little harder to identify. And with inflation soaring these days, how can consumers really, you know, pinpoint what that is and when it's happening? Well, greedflation is when we're being nickeled and dimed. I mean, we see, we see this everywhere. We see it even at the gas pumps when, when the, how, the prices go up, soaring overnight, and then miraculously come back down a week or two later. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing that at the gas pumps. We're certainly seeing that where we where, uh, prices are going up as, uh, astronomically. And really, um, no clue as to why this is happening. This is not a shortage in some cases. And we know that... Everything is going to be bored by the consumer, and that's one thing we have to remember at the end of the day. As consumers, uh, manufacturers are not going to be bored, uh, paying the price of this. It is the consumer. So be very wary of how you shop. Don't look at things at, at, at rate at uh, eye level, higher or lower. Usually the cost is less. At the end of the aisle, those are products we're just trying to get rid of. It doesn't mean they're on sale. And mm. certainly, certainly, uh, no name if you can and do involve. So, Lori, I wonder what your forecast is for the weeks and months ahead. Are prices just going to go up and up and up? And in the meantime, what can consumers do to make sure we don't get ripped off? Well, we certainly know that in interest rates have increased with the hopes of, of uh, you know, certainly calm inflation, which is what we're seeing at the grocery store, the gas pumps and everywhere else. But the reality of it is we're not going to see a dip in any of these inflatable costs for some time, if ever, because, you know, let's face it, once the price has been increased or once the packaging has changed, chances are they're not going to change that packaging again. So as consumers, we have to be very vigilant in how we spend our money and, you know, look for sales. Obviously, uh, meat has gone through the roof. So mm -hmm. make sure you... Um, maybe only do two meat days uh, or three meat days a week so you can cut back in those areas. Uh, as I mentioned, shop in bulk, shop no name, don't shop when you're hungry. All those things that are going to help you with your pocketbook and certainly uh, write what you need down. Don't over shop. There's nothing worse than throwing out food that you've paid a fortune for. Yeah, absolutely. Some okay, great tips. Uh, Lori Campbell, Director of Client Wellness at Bromwich and Smith. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Appreciate it. Thanks, Lori. Thank you so much, ladies.